Now, the scan of this event from the comic, it is a drawing of him standing on top of the plane and then a note under it. And do you remember what the note to the right of the plane? Yes, it says, from a photo, with a period. <laughs> Which is, okay, is it though? Because I, I, I haven't seen that photo. Because yeah, this I looked is around. a photo that would have to be taken from another plane flying alongside it, correct? Yes. So... <laughs> I, I feel like there's two lies going on here. Imagine being this good, this good at lying, where you could say, you could just tell them, like a magazine wanting to publish a story about you. You'd be like, okay, I got a photo. I don't have the photo. I'm going to describe it to you. I have a picture that was drawn from the photo. <laughs> and that is proof because <laughs> That's this proof. is oh. all from a photo. <laughs> it's just amazing. So um, he does this trick right theoretically he he does a loop on a plane and already that's amazing right like i googled this i don't think i found anything that that qualified as proof that this exists other than in this one story um but he also adds to the story that the plane stalls out like halfway through the loop something fucks up and like the the kid pilot does, isn't smart enough to like lean on the plane the right way and so he has to do it like while he's upside down clinging on with just like beam science, he's like pushing the plane with one foot to like restart it so it can finish the loop. Like that's, that's in a newspaper. That's pure old timey stump strength right there. Yeah. I, we could spend the rest of the podcast just discussing the stunt this guy claimed he did. <laughs> yes. Th there are oh. so many layers to this. Okay. For one, is any part of this true, including the bean thing? Like what? Like <laughs> right. obviously, some of it at some point it becomes a lie. But I could not tell you with a gun to my head how much of this did he intend to do it? Did he do something kind of like it? Did he do something on a plane, but not this? Well, what? I actually contacted a place that does aerial stunts. Like you could, as a tourist, you can like strap yourself to a plane and do this exact stunt. <laughs> And I, asked, and I them, asked him, can I do this? Could you, you, could you do, do this? this without a rope? Would it work? And the guy got back to me and says, yeah, we asked around and people say it's probably possible. But he did not say, sure, people have done this before. Like this is, it's not my bad Googling. Say, you want to try it? it didn't uh, turn I'll up. meet you in a field. Because again, yes. this, this guy does not claim to have trained for a year at different stages to uh -huh. work his way up to this. Like first uh, I'm going to try to to just get on the wing then i'll try to get on the wing while it's curving a little bit then i'll try to, and he, right. he just claimed like tried it can bean rented a plane that night boom like bean to suicide worked. one step <laughs> didn't even try it with a rope one time didn't try it with a bigger bean or anything just yeah try nope. try try 30 or 40 times with a safety harness and then finally do it without the harness no right no just